Alrighty then, without further ado, let us jump in to Vasusha, I think is the way you pronounce this, and it's by Pollux. And uh, let's have a quick look at the description. Uh, the Talos Principle. Holy shot. Probably the most badass action in portal history. Quote from Tonska, right there. Logic and skill, free entry for hardcore gamers. Special thanks to Prototype and Tonska for playtesting and helping me improve the map. Quinton for his help on the Hammer Editor. Uh, there is a hint for a special trick somewhere in the map which will be needed to solve the middle part of the puzzle. Interesting. The two small logos are also buttons. An additional challenge is get the star. You don't want to give up before getting that strange te 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 tetromino, right? Well, we'll see. We will see indeed. Miss you, Fab. I, I don't need negative comments like that. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, I'm uh, I'm completely aware and uh, under the impression that this is something. What? My microphone, right? I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, I'm I'm well under the impression that um, we're gonna pull some hair. We're gonna bang some head. But um, hopefully, above all else. Nice little portal thing right there. Uh, but above all else, hopefully, we can make some progress. Dare I say even try and solve this chamber. Oh, there's our star. And... Looks like we have some foliage. Interesting. Is that a is that a button? Is that a cube button maybe? Quite possibly. An interesting portal magnet as well. Alright, let's just sort of explore before we get too far into it. Hey, we've even got a QR code. Well we're gonna have to, aren't we? Let's let's be honest. Although trying to do this with gloves on probably isn't the best thing in the world. Can I... Well, let me take off my crosshairs. Uh... Secrets everywhere is what that translate to apparently. Secrets everywhere. So it's not a it's not a web based QR code. It just tells us that there are secrets everywhere. I, I've played a few of Pollux's maps in the past. Let's get my crosshairs back. Um, so I'm well well aware of how difficult things may or may not be. We could have maybe gone across there. Okay, so that button does not enable. Which is good to note. So is that one of the... I wonder if that's one of the... Um, is this shallow water? It is. Excellent. I wonder if that's one of like, the buttons... The Talos Principle. Okay. Guess it's maybe all we're getting from that. Now I'm thinking I should have maybe, um, maybe I should have kept the um, funnel for a bit and we could have got behind that fizzler. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, I like that. That's a good little touch. A good little th nod to um, everything Talos Principle. Let's see if we can't um, 
explore a little more over to this side, we should be able to get ourselves a cube. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your maker, and I am called Elohim. Seek me in my temple, if you are worthy. I always called him Elohim. Did I miss that, like, quite vital voice line at the beginning of the Talos? Alright, so now we've got a reverse funnel. So, I think maybe what we could do well, some way, sh some, somehow maybe we could can we get the cube on here while we're up there to pull ourselves through to there? Also, just trying to think. Anything we can do with these sorts of positions. And it doesn't look like we can. I almost think what we might have to do later on down the line is open this fizzler. We'll pull it on there and push the cube onto that button, perhaps. But, I mean, that seems like a... It seems like a big ask. And a big move to pull off. It's such, um, with so few visual references. map led you to the Talos principle and your life was never the same again, Nika. I honestly don't know how I, like, came across the Talos principle. I know, I'm pretty sure I was gifted, or somebody gave, somebody gifted me the DLC. But I can't remember how I kind of, like, came across it in the first instance. Okay, well, we're not really... We're not making a lot of progress here at the minute, are we? We're just sort of finding our feet a little bit. So maybe we should um, repeat our early early initial steps. Oh, I'll tell you what we could do. Ah, oh, yes, we could do that. I forgot about this one here. So we can maybe open the fizzler here, right? Hmm. Alright, let's, um, let's instead think about what else we can do here. And that's going to be, let's have a look over here and see what we have to play with on this side so yeah that um, it's gonna be that so the big question there would be how do we get the cube in the funnel and stuff not just things but stuff looks like as well if we drop down here we can't go back up, which is interesting. Oh, there 
is more over here. Give me that sigil. That's a little wacky, isn't it? Ah, there is a way back. I take it all back. I take it all back. All right, well. Um, how do we get started? Well, that's all right. We 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 uh, sometimes need to ask for help, Mika. There's no shame in asking for help. I think that, like the first move is like through here. But how do we pull that off exactly? Sorry, money, but those two words cannot go in the same sentence, I'm afraid. <laughs> it's all good, Mika. It's all good. How you doing now, money? Hope you're well. Welcome along. Be a good weekend. Right, so that's the other side of the Fizzler, which is interesting. Good thing in a portal there. Okay, let's... Um, right, so I'd have to do that here. I'm just trying to think here. How I can actually get going in some way, shape or form. Ah, okay. I've got an idea. I got an idea. Maybe. So, let's take this cube. Uh, actually, we need to go back over here. Um, actually, I think we need to leave it here. Yeah, we need to leave it here. Alright, so we'll go here. And then we're going to go and get in this funnel. Like so. Uh, I'm not sure, um, money, if I'm honest. Um, I don't think it said anything in the description about being a certain remake or anything, so I'm not sure. Okay, so now we have that, we have that. We could now do... Well, we could do that. How far does this take me up? Okay, that takes me all the way.
Get some sleep, Gary. <laughs> Get some sleep, indeed. How you doing, though, Rector? Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Appreciate it, as always. Hope your uh, portal stream went well uh, the other day. Was it yesterday or the Saturday you were streaming portal co-op? Hope it went well, though. Okay. Can't go any worse than my uh, co-op experiences. Normally, I'm just constantly under under siege from rockets from my partner. So. All right, so I'm not really sure how this would help. I would need this to be open. I don't know if I could like get the funnel open, which would open all these panels. Uh, sorry, the fizzler open to open all these panels. <laughs> Naughty Gary. See, so, yeah, I don't think that helps particularly. And likewise, not really do a lot from here. Because we can't get up to there. Okay, so we can't do anything in here. That has been identified. Notes have been taken. I didn't, oh, didn't realise that before. I could have potentially used the reverse funnel there. To pull myself up and leave a portal there. Although I'm not really sure what good that would do. Hmm. Likewise, we put the portal there, but... What does that actually do for me? And the answer is, not much. Not much at all. Alright, well, let's cancel that off. Um, hmm. Okay. So... Can I? Hmm. Looks like that move was thought about and they're blocking it. Just wondering if I could have got enough height to... Go up there. If I was like here, for instance, with the portal, could I then fling through this hole here? And the answer is no, because there isn't enough. So, okay. We tried it, and we can rule it out. It's a lot of white. That's a lot of what this stage of the, the process is for me. Seeing something, trying it ruling it either in or out and then if it's in how can we utilize it further yikes The thing is, though, we got. We're going to have to. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm massively overcomplicating this, aren't I? Alright. Um, so let me go back through here. Let's pretend we're riding this funnel. 
Well, I say I'm going to mess around. I don't think I ever need to go up there, personally. So. Plink plonk. Let's not worry about the other side for now. Dido's here, what's going on? How you doing, Dido Killer? Welcome, welcome. I had a good weekend. Alright, so... There is a slight thing that we overlooked here, isn't, uh, isn't there? And that is... See that fizzler there? So we could do this one, maybe. So maybe we do that again, but we do it with this one. Yeah, I'm all good, thank you. Very well indeed. Alright, so let's... Um, I'm just going for the ball. Alright, reset time. Boom, boom. Boom. You almost walked, you walked one kilometers. Are you um, going for a new fitness regime or something in the new year or? Okay, so instead of doing that, how about we instead We do this. Ah, interesting. So that still leaves the top, the bottom half of that fizzler active, which I guess makes sense now. Thinking about why the ant lines are the way they are, just telling you like the top two parts will disable and not the bottom part. Hmm. Ah. I see. Well, I hope you get better soon, Dido. Walk two kilometers carrying 30 gram, uh, 30 kilos of weight. Yikes. So how does that really help me? Because... Get to here, I need to use the funnel. So how would I follow myself through there and through here? And then manipulate the cube to go back on this button. I mean, I need to get to here and then I could shoot to there. But well, that's almost suggesting the cube would need to stay in a funnel funnelable position.
Is that... Does that intersect? No, it's too low. Interesting. I was wondering if there was a way to maybe get the cube to come across here back into the funnel and then re-portal it to where I need it to go. The thing is though, let's I mean let's even assume that's what I need to do. If I was to get here I mean how does that How does that even help? Because I don't have a cube here. He says as he then realizes he could simply just respawn the cube like this and take that through. But then, how is that any different to when I got the cube through here before? See, I was kind of hoping that we could see that from up here. Because what I could have done then is come through here. Let me explain. I could have come through this portal here. We could have dropped down into here. And come over to here. And then I could have done something like this. Which then keeps me a portal on the other side and gets me back over here. Because from there, I can go back through here, take the cube. No, I can't. Ah, uh, sticks. Okay. What are some interesting ideas, though? Oh, but I could do this instead, actually. So I could do this. I could jump back up to here. Portal here. There is no way out the pit. So that would be pretty... Unfortunately, it would be pretty pointless to do that, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, okay. So, anywho. Um, we need to go back because we shouldn't be in this state at all. Let's go back to here because this is a perfectly valid state. Oh, 
Okay. We need to pull out some big brain here, I feel. I feel like those sort of moves, though, that I just did, like, with the juggling from uh, place to place will come in to some sort of importance <laughs> as we progress through the map. So we should keep those in mind for now. I mean, interestingly, if we could get a portal on there fixed, we could pull ourselves across to there, I believe. Like, demonstrate again. So if we did this and we were stood on here, we can pull ourselves across to here. Which is interesting. Because then we could pull ourselves up to here. To avoid that fizzler there. Pull ourselves to here. But then from here we'd be pretty stuck. Uh, this is by Pollux. Dino killer. But yeah, that's... Coming here is pretty much where... All of that becomes a little bit unstuck, isn't it? Okay. That's the one. Alex the pain giver. So just trying to work out if I could I don't know how I would, but if I get into here and do that. Then we don't have enough to fall into there. This, to me, is a momentum area. So here, we would somehow get a portal on the ceiling. Probably reverse funnel. Portal on the ceiling. Okay, well, we can probably do that, actually. That might be a good, good way to start. So, we do this. We bring ourselves across here. And we drop over to this side, like so. Okay. We now have a portal on the ceiling. Now, a portal on the ceiling does what for us? Well, it gives us momentum to get into here. I think we proved out that there wasn't enough momentum to like drop through here to come fling across to that gap there, so I don't think that's worth trying. <laughs> All Mika's fault. 
all my grey hairs are because of Mika. Honestly, they're not my kids at all. <laughs> all the stress in my life, yep, that's Mika. And his map requests, definitely not my kids. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, so... I mean, I'm thinking we could do something like this, right? Whereby... Hmm, actually... Actually... What if we then took that off? I'm going to save state this. So I guess it's into there. The portal on the right side. And then... I guess it's to here. But... I really know what that does now. I mean, the other thing I just thought of that we might be able to do would be... I don't know how it helps. Yeah, that doesn't help, does it, at all. Unless I come through here. I'm not sure I can see anything of use here, actually. See a slight corner from there, but it's not going to help because I'd have to go back through the fizzler. So, so far, I've had lots of interesting ideas, but Nowhere to actually um, make any sort of useful progress. What's going on, uh, Drifa Drefa? Drifa? Hope you're well. Um, uh, we don't really do co ops maps, no. We occasionally do them, but it's like very rare that we do. Extremely rare. Is it rude to request something you haven't done? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? I mean it means part of the solve, Mr. Fab. Oh, okay. I understand. As long as you're on the ball with chat, Mika. Oh, yeah. It's not a good start, is it? I'm already yawning. Like, and we're only 40 minutes into the solve.
That's um. I just want to check out that. That's um. For some reason that light caught my eye. Ah, okay. It just didn't look like any of the other lights that Pollux was using in the map, so it just sort of looked a little bit out of place. I think what I'm like quite confused about is like that second cube of the um in the top left there. Um because I feel like as like with this button here we'll just test the theory. It has to be a cube that activates this. So If it's a cube that activates it, my question is, we must have more than two cubes, and I wonder if we need to get those other cubes that are... Yeah, I think we're going to need to get the cubes which are... on the floor together because the only way to get that would be to have one cube go and press the button but then have access to another cube so we can reverse funnel the cubes back out again so maybe the first step is to get those of the two cubes but That would almost suggest... That we need to open this first. There's no quirky BTS stuff going on. So yeah, um, that would suggest we need to get across here. But have access to cube and funnel. We got the cube over here. We got the portal into positions, but we didn't manage to put the final pieces together. So we we could potentially reverse funnel to there. I'm not sure we did it legitimately. If we was just like trying stuff out, we didn't manage to come all the way through here. But we would need to have the cube here, which kind of goes against having the reverse funnel. Because we need a cube to activate the reverse funnel, and that portal surface and that portal surface don't intersect. So there's no way we could like drag ourselves part way and then swap it to bring this one across. Now, 
we can do some assumptions again. Uh, not entirely sure how that cube ended up over there, but sure. Just roll with it. I'm going to check here and make an assumption. That we would have to be up here to do that. So that's not permanent. And then from up here. Feeling you're being trolled really hard. All right, well, I guess that's not the idea, idea and solution. Because we can't do that, so. Everything points to needing more cubes. But how do we get more cubes? I mean, the other thing would be... I guess the other thing would be, if we had that set up again... We could potentially portal there. So wait, I can shoot it literally if I'm like a millimeter off there, but I can't shoot it from up here. That's, I don't know. I find that a bit crazy, really. All right, so that doesn't work. Interesting skybox. Um, that's a yikes because we just get stuck. Are we getting free cubes out? You are generous. You are very generous. I mean, that's a thing we can do. Right. And then we could get this. Break the piston platform, of course, because that's a quite an integral part of the puzzle. And then we could do this.
Are these just troll cubes or what? Troll cubes times two. They lit there's literally like a physics there's like a physics barrier there or something which are stopping the cubes from coming through. That's amazing. The only other thing is get a portal there and can I extract them with a funnel? And the answer is still no. Alright, well. <sighs> we ain't getting no cubes from there. Then, if that's the case, I don't know. I pretty much don't know anything. I don't even know my name at this point. What's my name, guys? Because I was, like, convinced I needed another cube here to be able to extract that companion cube so if that's not the case then somehow some way the only way I can see to get the companion cube is for me to be able to get in this funnel Uh, pass. So yeah, the only way I see to do it is f to get into here. Okay, so what I could do is we could do this. Okay, so if we can if we can find a way to If we can find a way to get across there with the cube, and I'll be honest, it's a big if, then potentially we could get that companion cube. <laughs> Excuse me. But like I said, the issue is I don't see how we would get in there in the first place. I don't see a way there's no portals underneath it to like push myself up there's no portals on the ceiling normally you would see something like where you could 
I could put the cube on this button, portal up to ceiling, portal through there, take the cube off the button, but even still, there's no way to force the cube off the button. And that's problematic because um, that means we have to drop out of the funnel. We can't stay in the funnel to change it from a reverse funnel to a normal funnel. So it's very problematic. Very problematic. Trying to think of what I could do here. I could, of course, like push the cube over to there and onto there. But then it's just going to go across and get fizzled. And I can't see. Can't see the other side there to be able to stop it. So that's a that's a no no. The weird thing is I could do this with the cube as well. Okay, let's um, reload a minute. We could do that with the cube, with or without the cube, and we can get a portal in place on there. So let's ignore the cube for the moment. Get into here. And this way. Missed the portal shot. Okay, so this would give us, like, the big height. This would give us the really big height.
But I don't see how we can use it to our advantage. so close to the, so far from the star I can just do that right easy easy star <laughs> oh, okay Oh, Ender Zombies, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Not too bad at all. Just uh, struggling with this. See, even if I, even if I could like get into that position, right? I don't know how to. I wouldn't even know how to manipulate this because this doesn't intersect with any portals really that we could really use. Yeah. That's right, we can't see that from there, can we? Uh, if you check out exclamation mark map request um, you'll get a link to my um, submission form where you can actually submit requests. Oh, 
Um, I'll be honest, I'm not getting anything at the minute. I'm not getting any ideas at all. Everything like everything that I'm thinking of either requires more than one cube or it requires a move where I can't actually see both the portal surfaces from where I am. thinking ahead to stuff again. I don't want that actually, I wanted that. I suppose here both the cubes would be in here and then I could just do this to get around that fizzler so yeah literally all I need to open that up for is to place the portal so that when I've got both cubes in there, I can then just drop down portal and bring the cubes through. So I don't think I need to worry about doing anything with that at the moment. I think my sole goal is to get that second cube. at the minute, but I've no idea how. I have to go across, I think, and the cube has to go across, because if I don't go across, then they get fizzled right there. And if the cube doesn't go across, that button can't be pressed, it seems. Or can it? It doesn't seem like it can be pressed when you're in the funnel. I mean, that's a thing, but it's a very unreliable thing, if I'm completely honest. Or is it? I 
I mean, it's an option, potentially, because that would... That would stop us from... Need to get me and the cube across. Still doesn't solve the conundrum, though, of... How we would get a portal there and through the funnel. Because to achieve that... I mean, we can achieve that. That's fine. But then how do we get in the funnel? That's not fine. I mean, that's the thing we could do. However, we can't get up to here. Yo, and zombie, thank you very much for the host. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Had that for years, the old virtual knock. At least eight years. I've been streaming for eight years. I think we must be getting on that way. I've lived in this house for uh, almost six. And I was streaming long before I moved in here, so... Yeah, that's scary. How time flies. So again, this is the move we pulled off earlier to get across to here. This allows us to get a pull on the ceiling, which I, th I feel is important. I, I feel this is something we need to do. I just don't know how we can utilize that move. Yeah, it's kind of a Talos Principle themed chamber um, and a zombie I don't think I think I'll be fine because at the end of the day the, um, you can use the Talos music uh, the Talos music itself isn't um, under copyright as such and you are you can use that in your videos so it's not like it will get content ID'd, ID claimed for that. Alright, so let's think about something else. So 
we had this. Okay. Sorry, I got a... So we come through to here. So what if I did... I'm almost sort of thinking, is there a way to get portal on ceiling, portal over here, and then the idea would be I would be up here. portal Try this in. Um, I'll try this at half speed in slow mo. Yeah, I just I I've got too much momentum doing that, unfortunately. See, what I was thinking here was you could get the right sort of height here. Could I do something fancy? Gotta get you'd have to get the right height, and I think it would be too finicky. Yeah, it's going the wrong way as well, so yeah, it's definitely it's definitely off the cards. The only way into there is using a funnel. Um, if you go to the, are you trying to uh, do Mario itself or Hugo's map pack, Atom? Because I just followed the uh, the normal instructions on Hugo's post uh, for the Simile Thoughts map pack, and there is just like some instructions of how to get the vanilla Mario working. Oh, thanks for the stretch in the zombie. Appreciate it. Let's 
So, I mean, I don't know. And the hydrate. Going all out. I, I'm struggling here. I, I don't know what to do. I'll be completely honest. Trust me, I like a challenge as much as the next person, but this one... Don't feel bad, Mika. Don't feel bad. Um... There's QR code because it's a reference to the Talos principle. There's QR codes scattered throughout the game that have messages and bits and pieces on it. So, because um, it's a Talos themed map, it is just a reference to that uh, in the zombie. But yeah, as I was about to say, I mean, I mean, obviously, don't feel bad, Mika. At the end of the day, I like a challenge. I, I like a difficult challenge as much as the next person. But. Um, I mean, this is just... This is just, like, quite insane, to be fair. Right, I've been sat here for now... and about an hour and twenty. And... I've managed to retrieve a cube. And that's about it. I think I've already tried this anyway, but I don't think it would help. We could potentially like, get some extra height out of here and come above this, like by doing that's the wrong pole. Idiot. And we do that to get us a bit of height, but what would we do from there? You see, that's 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 the issue. What we do from there? It's not even like we can do any form of, like, and, and I've probably said this before, but this we can't even do any form of changing the polarity of the funnel once we're inside it because there's no there's no portal surface to inter intersect this button, so we can't change this like while we're in the funnel. There is a video if we want to take a peek.
nothing really given away from the um the images interesting to see what you asked actually mika uh all right let's go to your first comment Go on, Cap. Yeah, we, we're, we're just really struggling at the minute. We don't know. I, I can't see a way to get much done. You give a hint about a spawn and surprise effect. Believe me, there are some big aha moments there. However, a friend below in the comments was quite disappointed in the second part of my map by a hint too obvious for him. In any case, solving this map requires good dexterity rapidity and craziness oh dear that doesn't sound it's got fumbly that doesn't sound great the fact that it says it requires good dexterity rapidity and craziness Um, myself is another thing. Allow myself some fancies. Everything should appear more or less clear and confusing at the same time. So simple that it's complicated. Something needs to learn. More than 5,000 hours in game, I had the time to acquire experience and improve myself. I can imagine a new player on the game should be completely stumped at the first in these kinds of puzzles. No doubt, well, even experience is pretty stumped. No doubt, I would be even now if it wasn't mine. Sometimes starting from the end can help. Anyway, maybe you should try some other maps before. Yeah, first of all, you need, need the second cube and you will need the funnel to get it, of course. So we're right on that. All right, um, try not to read too much. But yeah, we've already identified the fact that we get the first cube and then we need to get the second one. Hmm. I don't want to read your comment there, Mika, about the second cube, if I'm honest. So, yeah, I'm, I was writing that we need to get that. Okay, we, that, that's our next goal. I don't, however, see another way to get it without myself and the cube going through that portal. But the problem is, 
Come on, Libby. The problem is, right, I can't see that surface from anywhere. Like, I, I can't see that surface when I'm in the funnel. Likewise, I can't see the funnel if I was to quickly come out of that surface. And like I've said like a million times before, there's no way to do anything with the funnel when I'm in the funnel because no portal surface directly intersects this button here. So it's either on or it's off. There is no middle ground, which means if I was to find a way even to drag myself through there to come through here, I've still got to drop out the funnel to remove this cube here. So... So then I think, okay, do I need to be using this area over here? Because if we had a cube on here, okay, we activate this. And somehow we managed to like get a portal on here and we flew all the way to the top here. But I don't see anything from here. So that's not the solution. I was just thinking that's the only place in the map where I could at least get a little bit of extra height. And even if that was possible, I still don't know that that would give me enough to clear that, which it won't. All right. So that was a pointless exercise. I think what I'm finding so difficult about this is that normally when you come again, uh, come across like a, a hard or difficult map, you can at least see some potential moves that you can like try and you can play around with. Whereas this, I I can't see anything, which is maybe the, like the beauty of of it of how well it's it's crafted. I mean we want to talk about things that are whack. Pulse if it's not lined up properly. What if we add something crazy? Like this. Nope. 
and up in the tree. The, the 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 comments that are coming in right now guys are offering much of motivational and positive support oh yeah i tried this map and it was uh it was difficult i got stumped at this puzzle for hours <laughs> it's not boding well let's be honest what's going on there differential hope you're well buddy welcome welcome Very easy map gap. I agree. Look, we can just do this. Easy. It was so easy. Why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> the thing that's extremely worrying, though, is the fact that you were st um, stuck on it for a couple of hours, Libby, which is like big yikes for me. That's very worrying for me. I'll be honest. If you want, uh, if you want some proper brain teasers, then um, you need to check out Libby's workshop for sure. It's like, great, but what do I do now? All right, no worries, Mr. Fab. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Catch you next time. Libby was just talking about you, Deathwish.
Uh, it is a Pollux map, Deathwish, yeah. We've been sat here for about an hour and 40 now, and we have made progress. This snare I can stand in, I don't know if that helps. Although I can't see that, because ideally we would need to do that. Um. Hmm. Uh, well, all I've done from this is literally get the first cube. And that's pretty much where we are after an hour and 40. I have managed to get a portal onto here, but I don't know that it really helps what I'm doing. We're currently working on a way to get the second cube. And my big headache here is that I can't see that portal surface from here. And likewise, I can't see that port surface from there because I believe I, both myself and the cube, needs to travel across to the button because I can't activate the button from here. And um, if the cube goes across, the only way to go and get it back, or the only way to get that cube then would be to reverse the funnel. But I need to get the cube back to do that. With the cube, and with the cube button being over there, it's not really possible. So that's my thought process. Just when you thought your memory was failing your death wish, clearly it's not as bad as you thought. I mean, the thing is, not I haven't I haven't watched it or anything, but like the um, the video on the on the actual map page is only like six minutes long. So I know six minutes may seem like a long time, but I don't actually think like there's. Well, I I, I say this reservingly. I don't actually think there is too much, too many steps. Um, to it almost I, I did not see that death wish but I'd be very interested to uh, have another look at that for sure that's that that map was worth getting the um, getting the content ID claim on YouTube for because the ending to that was just phenomenal Oh, yes. If anybody has not seen the ball pit. Um, surface meltdown. We did that uh, a couple of weeks ago. Let me just... Um, two seconds. 
Um, and back to uh, back to regular programming. When was that even released? I don't know, because for some reason it's not got a date stamp on it. But that's like must be over six years ago since I played that because that's yeah. That's at my uh, that's when I used to be working at my mother in law's house almost six years ago. Well, over six years ago. Um anyway, yeah, um as for this, this is like This ain't going nowhere tonight. I don't feel. It wasn't like, wasn't the original map, didn't he make it for his wife or his girlfriend or something? If I remember rightly. I'm thinking about calling it there <laughs> because um, uh, unfortunately not Ender Zombie I'd love to help you but I've been trying to do some stuff in Hammer for years now and um as you'll see by my workshop, nothing has ever been released. Despite having like over 200 hours in Hammer, I have never felt confident enough to release anything in Hammer. So, yeah, unfortunately, uh, I'm not the best person to ask on that. <laughs> Mika, thanks for the 510. A little cheer to you to pay in this. I believe in you. Yeah, I believe in myself, but um, I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere tonight, so it might be a good sort of thing to maybe just step away and then come back to it again with a... Because often with like these sorts of things, I go away, I think about things in my head, and then I can actually see something I've missed while I've been sat here trying to work it out, so... You're very surprised that I haven't made more progress. I mean, occasionally we take civil hints, Gab, but um, normally a lot of things we do are, are blind. I mean, normally if we do ask for, if I do ask for hints, they are like, I, I do ask for subtle hints. Um, so I don't know, maybe, maybe that's the way we go. Maybe, maybe if, if anybody has got a subtle hint, maybe. Death Wish with the 200. We got a high train that's close. Going to Twitch. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Choo choo. The train is coming. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean... 
All right, so let, let me ask some questions, okay? And I guess yes or no answers. Okay, but when you were describing what was needed for the second cube, all that you said was correct. Okay. So, just to expand on that with a simple yes, no, Libby, does that mean that everything I said was correct with regards to me and the cube, yeah? Me and the cube both have to go through the funnel at the same time. Alright, so I, I was going to ask a question, which, again, just a simple yes-no will suffice. Um, do I need to be... Well, I say yes or no. Uh, it's not really a yes-no answer, but it's like a, a one or the other answer. Do I, uh, do I get to it from this side? Or from the other side where the cube respawn is. It's um, Vesucia, I think, Deathwish. Get it from this side. All right, guys, thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah, Vesucia. Do you want to make Deathwish, or you just want to know the name? It's interesting that like a lot of uh, the, the word like interesting or the words interesting flings have been mentioned a couple of times in chat I'm just trying to think of like some ways we could do some interesting flings Yeah, you see, the star, clearly, clearly there's like an interesting thing to get the star, because you're going to have to come out of that portal with some upwards momentum to get that star, right? Hence why there's that little splodge of blood there. I almost think you're on a trajectory where you pass through the star and then hit that and drop down. Um... Just as an assumption.
All your videos are on your old account, Deathwish. I don't think them. I don't think the map was that old, though. Okay, yeah. I'll take it back. That's the sort of thing I was trying to do earlier on, where could we like do like some sort of reporting? Interesting though, like doing like that, you don't actually need to. I was doing it like from over there, from the height of the ceiling. Didn't actually need to do it from there at all. an attempt to get out of here like this. It didn't work very well. I'm sure I've had this scenario already. Well, okay. Okay. Now, I did do this earlier. But I'm pretty sure that's not how you get the second cube. second cube so now I try to remember how I did stuff okay that was it that was it yes okay so we did um maybe I could take the cube with me Right, that was the wrong thing to do. Why can I not throw the cube in the frickin' funnel? Jeez. Okay. No! Rip cube. You'll be sadly missed. Until we spawn another one. Oh, 
I mean, Libby said that I needed both the cube and myself to get over to here. So... Surely all I would need to do differently there is have the cube in front of me so I can grab it as I fall, right? Um, so let's do... This, 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 this. Maybe we'll do that this time instead of this. We've done a lot of this. Let's do that. That. That grab cube. Ah, um, we was too short. Mother trucker. All right, let's instead just do this this time to save a bit of time. So we are trundling along. La di la di da. There we go, that's better. Oh my goodness, please, oh wow. All right, we're in the funnel. I said we're in the funnel. Saving. <sighs> it's only taken two hours, but we have both cubes. Map's done, right? That's it. Game over. See you later. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs> we win. <laughs> I did nothing wrong, but you don't think that's the intended way. How dare you? <laughs> don't say things like that, please. Um, well. So then I think we have to do this, right? And then we can take our cubes over here and put them in here like this. Now, the thing we have to be very mindful of now is we need to be... Once I've sorted this out for LB, we need to be very um, protective of this little boy here. Because, um, obviously, that's quite a difficult cube to spawn. So then, let's um, let's analyze the situation right now. After two hours, we've managed to get two cubes, and I guess that's probably about the 
first minute or so of the walkthrough video so I'm guessing there's probably um, quite a few more steps actually involved in the remainder um, now again I think for the exit we're gonna do something like uh, not that because that gets rid of so somehow some way for the exit we're going to have this, we're going to have this. We'll have a cube in the funnel like that. And we'll have a second cube there. Because all we need to do to get to the exit once we're in this situation here with the funnel is do that to there. And then take both cubes down to this bit below. Like so. And that's how we do the exit, I believe. Just like that. That's how we do the exit. <laughs> well, apparently it's debatable what I did. Libby, just, just to reference your comment. Alright, so just, just to recap, because you know all, all you guys didn't have your eyes open, you completely missed what I was doing. I can't believe you did that, guys. Like, seriously, what are you playing at? What are you guys playing at? Like, for real. So, to recap, for those that weren't watching. Alright, we have a cube there. Our other cube is here. And our exit is something like portal to there. Take these cubes down here. Just put it up there like that. And then bingo bango. I think that's the exit move. So what that tells me is we need to think about how we're gonna get through into this section here with the funnel. And both the cubes. Now, if I am thinking about this correctly, we could potentially use some of these, some of the maneuvers that we did previously over. Where was it? Over here, wasn't it? Um, let me think. Somehow, I can't remember quite how, but we managed to, we worked out earlier that we could use this section here. If we was up here and we had a portal on here, we could like do the jump down move here up to get back up to here. And then we can, if need be, we can get the portal back up to the top by using this maneuver here. So there's a couple of interesting maneuvers to keep in mind. As for how we would utilize the funnel and get the funnel involved there, I don't know. I don't know. But that is going to be a conundrum for another day. Because um, I think I'm going to... Um, Go and try and chill out and um, turn off for a little bit before I turn in for the night. So, guys, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. It may have been, especially because it's been like a slow, frustrating process tonight. I do appreciate everybody hanging in with the um, moral support and the positive attitude. Um, it does mean a lot. Thanks to uh, Deathwish and Mika for the bits. Thank you to Ender Zombie for the host. And. Um, not sure I'll come back to it tomorrow. Um, we are doing Portal 2 again tomorrow night. Same time, same place. Um, but I think I'm going to return to the queue and have a bit of a break. 
Um, we've got some good maps lined up in the next few, some from Fombly, some from Hanky, some from Asias. So um, yeah, we've got some real good maps from some good map makers coming up. So uh, the next stream should be interesting. And then maybe at the weekend, we might step back to this and um, you know, dig in for another couple of hours and uh, see where we can get. But guys, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. Like I say, I really do appreciate your support. I appreciate you hanging. Even when we don't make um, too much progress, it uh, really does mean a lot that you guys are here and chilling with me, guys. But until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. And then until next time, because I keep saying until next time, happy gaming. Bye, guys. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Bye.